Hey, hello, and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We got some more Isaac for you today. I wanted to record ultra hard again, or try to record an attempt or whatever, but I'm not feeling well IRL, so I'm not dealing with that BS while I feel like crap. So let's just play a regular fun run at... <clears throat> let's just play a regular fun run as somebody that needs an unlock. The Lost doesn't need any unlocks. So anybody else really would be pretty cool in my book. That's fine. Okay, so we gotta go to the Beast. Light and Dark Room and Mega Satan. So if we go to the Beast, we gotta drop a trinket in a room that looks special. So let's keep all that in mind. We don't have to decide until Depths 2. Depths 2, right? Or I guess we would have to decide before that if we go for Angel Deals to go for Key Pieces to go for Mega Satan. But, you know, it's still up in the air at least a little bit. Anyway, what do we... Okay. Great starting item. A good old big chubby. Nothing wrong with one of those. I guess we could go in the curse room and get a Horror Babylon as we exit that room. That'd be pretty cool. What do you think, big chubby? Okay. Big chubby says yes. Alright. Couple. Okay. Guppy's head's pretty good. Two spiders are also pretty good. Can we can we survive? If we get hit, we're just dead. Okay. HP up. Tears down. Bombs are key. Well, there goes our three bombs. Um uh, give me give me Guppy's head. You know what? Why not? We got a tears down, which sucks. So we're gonna need some DPS to help us out. Guppy's head provides two DPS per room for a little bit of time. And it's even better now that we have uh, our horns on our head. All right, quick floor, quick floor for sure, and that's no problem. Duke of Flies, a challenging boss, absolutely. A red champion, even more so. But Big Chubby just dealt like 80% of his damage in one long lunge, so I'm a big fan of that. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of hearts. It's a shame our experimental pill wasn't HP down, or else we could uh, we'd get a lot of soul hearts here. I guess I'll take this. There's no real reason for me to enjoy it besides maybe Planetarium Chance. If we pick that up, it's a red heart. If we don't pick it up, we keep poor Babylon. So, yeah. No trinkets that floor, no problem. Basement 2, one of my favorite basements to explore besides my own. Just kidding, I don't have a basement. I'm not rich, okay? Not yet. Not yet, anyway. One day I'll get there. 300 subscribers might be that day. And we're on our way. And we're on our way. I appreciate... Get the hell away from me. I appreciate all the support on the channel recently. Thank you for enjoying the videos. Truly. There. That's a that's a true statement. Okay, hopefully that didn't sound sarcastic. Anyway. We got more flies, that's good. These psychos can be attacked and shot, so that's cool. Big chubby, a little late to the party. We got five keys. Oh boy. Last cannon. I think Guppy's head's gonna do a little more for us in the help us stay alive department. So I gotta side with Guppy's head on this one. But you know what, if we get two more Guppy items, I'll drop Guppy's head. I'll drop it, sure, any day of the week, as soon as we have two more Guppy items. Okay, a penny and a golden chest. A potential secret room lies right here. That worked out, I mean it was literally 50-50. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of pennies, what the? All right, we need to find another bomb for that room specifically. I'm thinking, for once in my life. Uh, well, the good news is we have a golden key. So we can go in the shop, potentially purchase a bomb or something else. We have some money. That's true. And I'd like to keep it that way unless we... Okay, we got a planetarium. Eight ball, magic eight ball paid off rather well, in my opinion. So no complaints there unless... The Jupiter. Saturnus. Okay. It's not the coolest, but it's not the worst. So, it'll do something, unless we pick up uh, Perfection and Fire Mind. Well, it will still do something, kill us, but that's alright. Golden Key nets us a Bible. Not really, though. Okay, two spacebar items. Not a huge fan of that, I'll be honest. Wait, one, two. Maybe it was only one spacebar item. No, that was two. I get confused between starter deck and deck of cards, whatever they're called. I don't know. Well, that worked out. Splendidly. We could blow those two up. But I don't want to do that. Give me a second. 
Sorry about that. I had a frog in my throat, and I had to charge him rent. So there you go. All right, who are we fighting? Looks like Little Horn to me. Let's hit him with Saturn, as most people uh, do. So there you go. Okay. So far, so good. Another Soul Heart. I don't mind that one bit. Where are we going? Now, if we're going to the Beast, Devil Deals would be A-OK. -okay. If we're not, they'd be a bit tougher to justify. But we can go to the Beast. Why not? Death list. I haven't had it work all that well since Repentance started. I also have taken it maybe twice and started with it as Eden once in Greed Mode. So... I'm not going to throw away my life for that. Okay. Anything else? Well, not anything else, but if it was anything good, I would, I would have purchased it. I mean, we went in the deal for God's sake. So yeah. Alright, Saturn having a little orbital problem. That's okay. It's only in rooms where Ed says where you spawn. Luckily, that only happens in two certain boss rooms. Boss rooms aren't important in Isaac. You don't have to be prepared to fight bosses or anything like that. Is there needles in this room? Not anymore. Okay. Another head charge. Looking good. Alright. Classic room here. Very classic. Don't stand in the middle of rooms. We might accidentally pick up a red heart. It's not advisable when you're looking to be at a single or less red heart. Okay. We're using Saturnus to break fires. That's what I like to do. Okay. I guess it'd be more apt if we used Uranus, but we don't have Ice Tears, so I'm doing what I can, when I can, you know what I mean? Alright. Let's shoot these a little bit, make sure they don't hurt us later. Where are we going? What the hell did I just see? Oh my god. Alright. Can I? Okay. Absolutely fine with me. Not that one, though. Uh, little bum friend. I don't think so. You know? I don't wanna... I'm not gonna give any, like, reason or anything. It's just, I'm letting you know it's not gonna work out. For me. So, you're not invited to this great run. Did we do the seed, by the way? K-W-O-V-3-J-J-V. You know it's good when both lines end in V. Maybe. Uh, help down. Shame. Alright. Okay, we can take out half these guys with Saturnus, so that's pretty cool. No problem there. Ooh, some extra money for me and not bum friend. Sounds great. Could be a super secret room under that room. Who knows for sure. Let's check out the shop. I'm sure it has something good. Uh, well, kind of. Okay, well, we got more money back from that sack alone. Hopefully it doesn't turn any crucial chests into sacks, however. That would be the one downside that I can think of. One, two, three, I guess. I guess we didn't explore this other way. I don't see it being something super useful unless it's a library. So that'd be nice, but not the truth. And that's okay. Hey, got a soul heart. That's pretty good now that you mention it. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, we don't have to go to the curse room. It is a small curse room, so there's a... 90% chance there's a nickel or black heart. We don't need more health or money. We're pretty good in that regard. Both of those regards. Okay, the good news is for the Gertie fight, we actually walked in the door they thought we were going to be in. So it didn't mess with our Saturnus bubbles. So that's pretty cool. Big Chub, you know what to do. Alright. Oh, there's something behind you, huh? Playing a little trick on me. Put a little pile of poop behind your Gertie. I get it. I get it. Alright, let's take out these additional enemies. We got Perfection. Apparently we haven't been hit. At all. Tears up, I'm okay with that. Perfection can turn into the... The Trinket. So that's good. And what do you, what do you know? Two fantastic items... For us, on our way down to... The Beast. Up to the Beast. I guess you go down and then up. Like a boomerang. Alright, we got our red key piece on, uh, what was that? Caves 1. And that'll be right in the boss room, so that's a no problem at all. Son of a biscuit here. Alright. Alright, you know me, I love a good Mr. Mine. Sadly, these are both bad Mr. Mines. Luckily, they've perished unexpectedly, and that's why I didn't pick up Perfection. If you're not playing the Lost, if I'm not playing the Lost anyway, as soon as you pick up Perfection, you lose it in the next two or three rooms. So I think that's pretty funny. And then we needed the trinket anyway for the key piece, so no worries there. Alright. Another shop. I don't mind if I 
do. We're buffing Ghost Baby at the moment, which I also uh, which I enjoy very much. We turned a coin into two keys and a bomb, basically, thanks to Sackhead. So nothing wrong with that. Okay. And we're two-thirds Guppy, by the way. So that's pretty cool. We got our keys back for this, entering this hellhole of the room. This is a dead end, but I'll go in anyway just to explore and see what's good. We got pretty good damage, seven. And we're killing enemies quite quickly, I'd say. Free key sounds pretty good. Excuse me. Uh, we could we could mess with this guy. Bombs go two squares, so we put this here. And let's see here. He could give us an HP up, but we have zero red HP. So if we take one, that's fine. We could trade it away later, or maybe he'll give us rune bag or something cool like that. So, where was I? Well, the good news is we only spent uh, nine cents on that bean. So when we left it there, we lost basically no money besides the nine cents. Okay, what's in here? Two sacks full of keys and greatness. I'm a big fan of that. Here's a tinted rock. Okie dokie. A good pill. Not a bad pill. All right. This is going to be a tough room, for sh for sure. Never mind, it's over. We only got hit once. I'll call that a win. Do some bombs. We could blow up some skulls there. I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. There's no mushrooms over here connecting us to that soul heart. So there's only one fantastic item that gets us there, and that's the ladder. Sadly, we've been to the shop, and there's no ladder. So I'm sickened and disgusted. All right, talk about sickening and disgusting. I'm going to leave him behind. I'd take him if we were going to Mega Satan or whatever. But there's some dogma attacks where you got to know where he's going, in my opinion. So you don't want to have him... I don't know what I'm doing. So you don't want to have the scapegoat be another target for the onion ring attack or whatever like that. you got to know where he's going in order to have a chance to survive. Same with the beast, honestly. Well, the horseman, if you know what I'm saying. What's our health at, by the way? We keep getting hit this floor. I'm guessing we have five-ish hearts. Four or five. I don't know for sure. Stop giving me devil deals. I mean, I guess we got an HP up here, so that's cool and all, but... What the hell? We can't pay him out unless we hurt our soul hearts, so... No thanks. Alright, we left behind... How many items so far? I feel like ten items were left behind. And there's an item by the curse room? I don't remember what that was. Okay, we've got plenty of trinkets, so that's good news. Soul hearts we can't possibly pick up, sadly. Tinder rock in that room was extremely helpful. Oh, yeah. It was so invigorating that my mind just wiped it from my memory instantly. Let's explore some of this floor. Maybe we'll find... That library already has been talking about, or something cool like that. Okay. And there's an arcade. That could be interesting. That could generate some cash off of our red health. Alright. One. Two. Classic. Classic. And we got a red heart right down here. So that's two more pennies, if I do say so myself. Alright, looking good. We got 29 cents. That was worth it to go back. There's a key here, allegedly. No idea when that showed up. Alright, and there's another dead end, but let's get serious. We gotta go. I'm tired of these 56 minute beast runs. They need to be at 53 or lower, in my opinion, to be a good beast run. Alright, let's head on down. I'm going to do a quick pause. I'll be back in 0.5 seconds. Alright, we're back. Where are we going? Curse of the Blind. Oh, we got four hearts and a red container. I knew it was pretty bad. Okay. Well, this guy's not going to make three hearts, so there we go. Let's take out some of these masks. No problem. Anything good in here? Broken glasses can be good. 
I don't know how we moved out of that guy's uh, path in time, but we did. So that's totally cool. Uh-oh. Well, Guppy's head action. One more Guppy item and we're Guppy. And we got Devil Deals on precedent, so that's pretty cool. I love a good Devil Deal precedent. A free key. The glasses... I don't know. Do they have to be worn? Quote-unquote. Does it have to be equipped when you head down a floor or when you open the item room door? Because uh, if it were to work for this floor, and I just pick it up before we go in, that'd be something. I guess we could test it out. But there's a 67% chance I won't know the answer. Because, because it only has a 33% chance of working, as far as I recall. 33% chance on non-mothery floors to go uh, to add a question mark item. Well, I guess it's Curse the Blind, so we're going to have question mark items regardless. But you know what I mean, I think. I don't know what I mean, actually, now that I'm saying it. Anyway, I hate this room. You guys... Okay, let me get over here. Thank you. Alright. Big Chubby, doing some good work. Who's over here? Some more of these oily sons of guns. This one's quite large. I hope he doesn't burst into shots when he perishes. Sometimes those guys do. Sometimes they don't. I don't know the difference. It scares me either way. Okay, he didn't burst into shots. This guy's a little dizzy, if you ask me. Okay, two keys looking good. No, uh, no tin and rocks. I hate myself. Cool, cool, cool. Walk into a fire or two. It happens. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Okay, I mean, that's something. Depends if we get a deal and we're able to trade a heart away, I suppose. Could settle for the no horror Babylon. Then we get a speed down and a damage down, which isn't good often. I think it'd be cool if we found our shop and item room. My guess is the shop's up here. Okay, that worked out so far. Any tinted in here? Not that I... Oh yeah, there is at the bottom. We'll be back for it in a while. Oh, I forgot to pick up the glasses. Oh, it was a small room anyway. It wasn't going to work. Stitches. Something. I don't know about that. Alright, I'm thinking two soul hearts out of this tinted rock would be A-OK. -okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's highly appreciated. Alright. And our shop is still M I A. Where am I? I'm going this way. Okay. Uh, I, I assume it's down here eventually, obviously. Okay. A nice great chest full of money and more money and bombs. That's pretty cool. This could be a secret room. Let's see if this wall supports that idea. Yes. It is a supporting wall of that idea. And hopefully not structurally supporting since we just shot it with a bomb. Okay, looks good. A battery sounds A-OK. -okay. Took a red heart, but that's alright since we're Eve. This is awful. That's alright since we're Eve. Let me try to blow this guy up for more chances at succeeding at a devil deal. Two and a half more chances out of 100. That's pretty good. Okay, got hit there, my bad. No problem, all right. More keys, no problem. Oh my gosh, this floor is quite large. If this shop is awful or worthless, I will be very upset. Number one, because it's awful or worthless. And number two, because we had to really search it out. I don't know where this shop is. There's branching paths. This is uh, this is disgusting. A sticky nickel. Don't mind that. Just yet. Uh, let's see what we got here. We'll take one of these out. This guy's going to be charging. This guy's going to be charging. Found the shop, luckily. And it's fantastic. It's super green. Which means next floor, we're definitely getting a shop. And the floor after that, we're getting a shop. So all this money will be necessary. I'm sure. Okay. Looking pretty good. We got 64 cents and 10 bombs. I'm not going to spend a bomb on a sticky nickel. If we need 5 more cents later, I'll know I made the wrong choice. Okay. But I don't make wrong choices. Anyway. Oops, one, two, three. I'm not sure where the super secret room is. We did find the regular secret room. I don't have to bomb for those keys. We have basically double the keys that we have of bombs, so no worries there. Okay, heading down to a fun 
time with the boss. Fallen. The Fallen could provide a guppy item. I'd rather get a deal and spend the heart. But that's okay. Uh-oh. Alright, so far, so good. Except for that one hit. Okay. I'd like to run the, uh... Run the tape back on that one. I don't think we deserve that last hit. A pound of flesh? That's awful. That's a terrible pickup for Eve. Cool. Alright, gotta love Curse the Blind. It takes and it gives. Actually, it never gives, because why would you skip an item? You're not going to take something because it's blind, unless it's a terrible item, and then it only takes, because then you're sad that it's a terrible item. I'm going to need that full card. I'm not sure if what I'm saying is accurate, but I think you know what I'm saying. There's no upside to Curse the Blind, basically, is my, uh, my moral of the story there. So if you know Aesop, give him a call and tell him to write that one next to uh, the tortoise in the hair. What room is this? I've never seen it before. I hate it. Our range is lacking. And I hate that fact as well. Alright, get you out of here. Little Guppy would, uh, would turn this run around for sure. Maybe Guppy's hairball? Tail? Uh, Guppy's straight jacket? Anything would be pretty cool right now. Water bowl? Food dish. Guppy, we're looking for you. Or at least one of your body parts. Kind of a strange thing. Guppy, where are you? Or where's your dead body and or tail? Kind of strange stuff if you ask me. Alright, let's look in here. Everything jar. Well, we might spend money there considering we can't spend money in the shops anymore. Thanks, Ed. Alright, a fool card. That could be useful. Oh, you biscuit. Imagine it was Curse of the Blind again. Alright. Where's that shop at? I got some more good items to buy. By trading away my livelihood. Pound of Flesh makes Devil Deals cost money. And shop things cost HP and damaging yourself. So that's why I hate it, by the way. In case you were curious to that fact. Here's the good news. This room's very simple. Guaranteed super secret room. Alright, this could prove useful. It's all pennies. I've never seen this room be all pennies. I've seen soul hearts and chests. It's all pennies, for God's sake. That's awful. That's great. I love a mimic. I don't know who doesn't. Alright, shop. There we go. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, PhD for a heart. Well, we can take half a heart of damage and grab a whole heart. Is that right? Nope, you take a whole heart of damage. Screw you, by the way. To the player from Ed. Okay. Birthright on regular Eve. I think it puts you permanently in the Horror Babylon. Even though I've worked my whole run to stay there and I purposely disregarded an internal heart to do that. So now you're going to reward me later in the run. A.K.A. not reward me at all. I'll take PhD. Sure. Forever cursed. Okay. Now if we find ten more health up pills, we can take them. There. It worked out for everybody. Mostly. Maybe. Okay. And this is the mom fight. So we need a devil deal here and there needs to be a guppy item. Otherwise, I'll be sad forever. Maybe forever. Fool card. Okay, we got the fool card. Let's do this fight. Our funds to turn us tears are all used up. So that's pretty cool. Big Chub is doing some good work all around the room. One simple spot at a time. Okay, Mom's falling. We have um, we have the bird. Is the bird always active because of the birthright? That could be helpful a little bit. Sure, sure. Now I'm not upset. There, I'm smiling. Is that okay now, everybody? All right. Where... Can you die? Uh-oh. Where... Okay, please stop. Oh, we did get a deal. None of this really matters because we're trading it away. So we'll pick up this. We're going to look for a good... Okay. You know what they say. Picture's worth a thousand words. And I'll purchase Brimstone now. Thank you. For 30 cents. Turns out Pound of Flesh might have been a good pickup. Otherwise it would have cost half our soul heart supply. 15 cents for a book. We don't have any other books as far as I'm recalling. But sure. 
No guppy item, sadly. And that's the end of that. Alright, let's trade this away. Who's down here? Nobody. Interesting. Interesting. Chubb could drop a red chest from this room. Basically any room could drop a red chest with a guppy item. So we're going to explore a little more. Just because we have a little not so much health as we thought we would have uh, ever. I'll do this. We got 95 keys for some godforsaken reason. Alright, this will be good. More pills? No? Okay. But yeah, looking for another red chest for a guppy item. That's a good idea. So I'm glad I thought of it. A, a soul heart? That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. A free sack for the price of a bomb. I don't know about that. Well, it did become free much later on, so that's good. Uh, 40 cents. I don't want mom's auto pills, or do I? We do have PhD after all. Okay, so turn is killing those two quite quickly is always good. Uh, super secret's been discovered. The regular secret room could reside in this very location. Right here. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Never mind. Did we find the... No. Oh, it could be... Perhaps here, of course. Fantastic. Evil eye luck charm to luck. Sure. And you feel protected, so now we can't be burned, feared, frozen, or otherwise. Luckily, only two of those exist. Uh, due to the fact that we have PhD, I don't mind picking up Mom's coin purse. I do mind picking up the pills mid-fight, though, so don't don't bother me with the pills mid-fight. Okay, do we have petrified poop? That was a really good payout. Oh, we got hit. That's pretty cool. Alright, one more attack or two, and we got Monstro 2 down for the count, in my opinion. Alright, what's this? Experimental, good pill, HP up, fantastic, you know me and HP, I love it. I love that HP. Alright. And even if we get a bunch of pills and no red hearts, we can keep getting hit. We can keep, uh, oh my god, I'm terrible. We can rest in the goddamn bed at home, that's what I've been trying to say for about six minutes, Ed. Jesus Christ, balls of steel, that's great, speed up. I don't care for it. Let's just put let's just put the truth out there. What's in here? How why is there a soul heart in here? The good news is we can use that soul heart to get Guppy. Never mind. Guppy? A bunch of red hearts? Red hearts? Nope. Not a single red heart. Well the good news is that guy doesn't give Guppy anyway. So there's that. What do we leave in the item room? I don't remember. But I guess I don't care about it. We'll see it again some other day. We left a lot of stuff behind, I think. Scapegoat. Something else. I don't remember. Alright, the good news is we got Brimstone. It's a pretty good item, I've been told. So let's see how that works out. Okay, a free bomb is pretty cool. We could check for Guppy in there. Give me a minute. Let me think about it. Saturnus also does capture some enemy shots. So that's good to look forward to. Give me a second. Alright, we're back. Can this can this be a secret room? I don't know. Maybe, but that one wasn't. What's it doing? Oh yeah, we're clearing the floor. Clearing the floor, having a great time. What the hell? Alright, kill this bishop in-game. And, uh, and there we go. So far, so good. A golden key is great. It's going to save us a few keys. I mean, we already had 20 keys, so it's not like we needed it, but I guess it's something. What the hell are you doing? Stop reviving that guy. Alright, let's take a look here. I'm sure there's going to be a way to choose which item is better when we go to the next floor. And the Curse of the Blind is removed from that second item. Let's see here. We need a bomb to open this stone chest. Super regular good old seeker room could be here for all we know. So who knows? Okay, soul heart. That sounds good to me. Guppy, don't mind that. Guppy, okay. Well, I mean we got a lot of health. That's pretty good. It's no guppy, but what is these days besides guppy? Okay, well Mulligan's kind of guppy without the flying. Less fly chance, but you know it's the closest thing they got. Whoever they are. All right. Let's head left. 
Oh boy. We don't have that many bombs, but we do have a golden key. I'd also like a golden bomb. I remember when we unlocked golden bombs, we got... That's a pretty good trinket. When we unlocked golden bombs, we got a golden bomb like the next two runs. I don't think I've seen them since, so what's up with that? A little bit of recency bias on its part. Kinda sus, if you ask me. Kinda fricked up. Okay. You biscuit. That's no problem. Take out that portal, take out this portal. That's simply how it happens. Okay, we got a shop somewhere? No? Where am I walking to? Who cares? It's a dead end. You bastards. Oh my god. Well, how am I supposed. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I specifically play video games so I don't have to think, Ed. You bastard. Alright. There we go. What's in the shop? Battery, baby. Huh. Interesting. Well, we can donate, at least. For future... Lives... Of our... Self. Can you stand... Oh, my God. Alright. Soul heart. Uh, good old... Sack... Okay. I'm not going to spend a heart for battery, baby. I will spend years of my life on this game, though. And I think I'm losing years of life. Let's be honest. Okay, some money that's us literally useless. So that's really cool. HP up that we can actually take. Sounds great. Alright. I'd like to not go in the room to our left. Um, and that was the walking teleport room. We might take that. Let's see, uh, let's see what's in here. We don't need to bomb for the other key since we have more keys than bombs. But opening up and getting an item? No? Getting a good card? Nope. Alright, we weren't over here though. Okay, could get another HP up. That could be fantastic. We didn't. But that's alright. We lose a little bit of Ghost Baby DPS to give us homing. I'm okay with that. True homing, where it just turns and smacks the monster in the face. It's a pretty good way to home. And we have a trinket on an earlier floor, so we don't have to drop that right there. Who is calling me? My mother. Jesus Christ. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back again. Sorry about that. I'm sick. My mother's sick in the head. It happens. Alright, no more interruptions. What is the other... Okay, Boiled Baby, 100% of the time. Is that conjoined? It's not. I wish it were conjoined. We'd have three heat-seeking missiles of Blood Laser Barrage. That'd be pretty cool. Do we have to go anywhere else on this floor? I don't think so. Alright, looks like we're going to make it under 56 minutes. Win or lose. So that's pretty nice. Alright, we got a good old Hanged Man card that could prove useful in a random room on the way to the beast. Probably not doing too much in the final fight since we're granted flying for free um, in the final fight. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I was hoping for a black heart. This could be incredible. Or... Oh no, it's incredible. I mean, if we still had stitches, we could go get... Wait, is this the floor where we found stitches? It might be. Are we going to pull off the stitch of the century? Not, hold on, hold on a minute. I don't want to go there just yet. Oh, you biscuit head. Lead pencil, though, that's pretty good, too. I didn't know where the bomb was. I thought I was walking away from it. That's pretty damn cool. All right, let's see if we can get some health back from this chest. We got, we got a luck up, which is often not health. All right, our health is in a precarious position. Definitely need to work on that. You... Okay, it wasn't stitches. We could get a tears up. And then we look a little wavy. I don't know. I think I'm okay with the, uh, the homing. Sorry, stitches. Sorry, mom's contact. Or whatever it is. But a free lead pencil sounds pretty good to me. We got 29 keys. You bet your butt we're getting some red chests from this son of a gun. And we know one of them's gonna have... Guppy. Whatever. That's fine. 
I like flies that explode. Who doesn't? Fastest I've ever ever seen a key beggar pay out, that's for sure. Set a new world record in that regard. Alright, caves too, nothing to worry about on this floor besides some caves. No problem. We can look for a soul heart, maybe in the corner. That's a poop, which could lead to a soul heart in the corner, yes. Never mind. Alright, troll bomb. At least this one we don't make hit us. So that's the good news. We got plenty of flies. We don't even need Guppy at this point. But I wouldn't turn it down. That's for sure. Uh-oh. I would turn this guy down, though. I hate this guy. Uh-oh. Don't hit me. Okay, he hit me. My bad. And all that. Okay. Let's do a quick sweep of the room. A little hero font card. World card. And what was our other one? Hanged man. I'm not going to go in there for the bombs so close to those turrets. Alright, we have low health. Hopefully it doesn't turn any crucial chests into sacks, however. That would be the one downside that I can think of. That was the key piece. It turned into a goddamn sack. Now I'm pissed. Before I was just annoyed. Well, that's fine. I think we're going to die anyway. So we'll have to come back as Eve to the beast. And the good news is, this time at least, we just run away from that bastard. Oh, here he is again. Okay. Big, beautiful fly. Can you kill that guy? What do I pay you for? Besides to be the butt of all my jokes. Alright. We'll come back for that great chest. I'm sure it's a good one. I'm sure it's a good pill. Well... It's something. It makes up for one of the many shots I've walked into in the last three minutes. And as always, we'll hit the bed and get our red health healed. That was pretty cool. Brimstone did all the work there, just chained between all the enemies. I thought that was pretty nice. Oh, here a front card today, no problem. Glass cannon. Yeah, we didn't grab a lot of item room items, I guess, did we? We just got lucky with the boss room items and uh, the, sh the shop items were pretty good. PhD has given us three or four health ups, so I'd call that pretty good, considering we have five total health at the moment. Alright, is this the second basement? It is. Let's head to basement one. Okay, if we find a red heart, we can turn that into a soul heart, which is the whole reason I left it behind to begin with. I'm strategically planning 34 minutes in advance. I know it's a rarity for me, but it's true. One red heart, please. That's three bombs, in case you were wondering. Two of those guys is kind of sick, in a bad way. Unless we have Brimstone with homing, and we just happen to have that. So I am a-okay with this room, considering I don't have to deal with it, in my opinion. Okay, there we go, classic. And a bomb, exactly what I wanted. Not really, I want a, a red heart. Please. That is also a bomb. Baby Plum betrayed by... Her own kind, in my opinion. Another soul hearts, A-OK? -okay? Absolutely. We don't have the miter. Not sure why we're getting soul hearts. I guess I'm just that lucky. Except for the fact that my red key piece turned into a... A... Goddamn sack. Alright, any red heart? Half a red heart. Well, I guess we could pick it up for half a soul heart then at that point. But let's see. There's one more room, at least, that we haven't cleared with good old Eve. Little dingle action. Another soul heart. You know what? I'm just going to clear out for soul hearts at this point. That's pretty cool. I like soul hearts. I thought we already found that. I'm delusional, it appears. And not for the first time in my life. Alright. It's a good sack here. I'm sure it's got two keys, a bomb, and a penny. No problem. Who the hell? Alright, what was this? That was... Nothing. Balls of steel. You know what? I don't need the... We don't need the hangman. All I wanted was one red heart, and instead this floor gave me two soul hearts and a balls of steel pill. So, you know what? It's not what I asked for, but it's what I needed. So I have to be appreciative of that fact. Let's go grab the half and half, so we literally get half and half, I believe. And that's a free soul heart hit by the time we get down to half a heart. If we get hit six or seven times, which uh, I have a feeling I, I will get hit that many times. 
There's a chance we get red key from mom's chest. We've seen mom's eyeball, or whatever it was, in that uh, crawl space. So we don't gotta worry about that showing up. We don't have to use the bed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but my guess is mom's purse. Okay. Well, a range up when you have brimstone is literally pointless. So that's cool. At least we got the butt knife. All right, we'll be back with Eve. We gotta go back with Judas too. Maybe I'll do this on a stream one time, just so I don't waste your time uploading old, pointless videos from this new and exciting game, Isaac: The Repentance of Afterbirth Plus. All right, we're doing pretty good here. We're gonna dodge son of a some of these attacks. Dead birds doing good work. You ever see a bird attack a TV? Me neither. All right. So far, so good. Boiled babies, boiling some shots for the enemy, so I think that's pretty cool. Big Beautiful Fly has somehow dodged the TV for years at a time, so I'm not a big fan of that. And when it was just about to hit it, we broke it anyway. So, Boiled Baby, wait, Big Beautiful Fly, get better. Boiled Baby, you're doing great. Okay, we know where you're going. It's no problem. I walked into a feather out in the middle of nowhere. Some would say it's an impossible walk-in, but I did it again just to prove it was quite possible. Hope you appreciate my scientific method. It was... Okay, I did it three times. It was penned by uh, Gregor Mandel himself. He's a really cool guy. He likes peas. Um, that's all I know about him. What can I say? Okay. No more... And I think that's what did it to me. The, the side to side. I always go up and down. So the side to side confused the hell out of me. That's not an excuse. It's a reason. I swear to God. Anyway. Let's see what we can do here. What are you doing, Super Chub? You're going down at an angle. It's actually upsetting me. We know this guy follows us, so we know to cheer him up. And Be Beautiful Fly, by the way, uh, an impossibility in this fight in all 2D uh, areas. Be Beautiful Fly, worthless, pointless, and literally a sack of crap. I gotta give my commendments to Be Beautiful Fly and Big Chub for both breaking in this area of the game. I think we're gonna die, and I'm okay with that, because we gotta come back anyway. So let's come back with items that might work in this area of the game. That'd be pretty cool. I'm surprised Brimstone isn't bending up and just flying off screen. Or, Guppy's Collar's gonna keep us around eight times in a row and we'll be fine. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how probability works. I gotta see in my uh, statistics class in college, and that was 15 years ago. Well, 13. But see? All right, can you not throw your eye, man? There we go. All right, so far, so good. Definitely should've gone to not the beast, but that's all right. Okay, no problem, all good. It's all good in the neighborhood at Applebee's. This isn't an ad, it's just their slogan, I am pretty sure. If it's not, I've been saying it for two years on this channel, even though it's existed for less than six months. Um, but that's cool. Alright, we got him down easily. Didn't take any hits, except near the end. So we should have no problem here. War's a good horseman to fight next, in my opinion. Brainworm, not going to do too much during this section of the fight. But what if it did? Right? What if it did? Okay, that was, um, <clears throat> that was my fault. All right. Haven't seen War do this in quite some time. I forget what he does afterwards. Luckily, we'll never find out. Okay. Good old War charge. It's a good thing to experience. All right. Don't pick up sack of sacks when you're going to the beast. Well, when you need a tainted unlock. Let's write that in a list of things to do. Right next to Jesus Christ. Um, well, Jesus Christ isn't in my list of things to do. He got done in like 2,000 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So, somebody took care of him. A few people did, in fact. So no worries there. All right, where's the... Usually there's like a hole I can go through. Today they didn't want to give me that that much. That's okay. I feel like not only are we going to see phase three death, which means we're DPSing slow, we're going to see phase four, which is when he goes back to the scythes all around him thing. It's not going to be good news. In fact, it's got to be some of the worst news I've ever heard. Okay. Alright, well here's the son of a... 
Okay. Well, we know where he's coming from now. The first one... Is it always from the left on the first one? I know how to handle him. Once I know where he's coming from. But I don't know where the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we dead? Damn it. Alright. And what did I tell you? Phase four, uh, death. As per usual. I've never seen it before. Okay. Ghost Baby, you can see, piddling on the screen, doing incredible work. I think... I think Boiled Baby is doing much more work than Ghost Baby for the entire run, and we've had Ghost Baby maybe double the amount of time. So what does that really tell you? Okay, what's our stat? What's our damage stat, by the way? I, th I feel like it's got to be two, but I know it's at least seven or eight-ish. We're stopping some of the flames with Saturnus, so that's pretty nice. It's not necessary, but it's nice. Kind of like the golden rule. I feel like we were going to hit it th hit there. But I thought she was going to blast earlier, so that's why I kind of moved in. But she took her good old damn time on that, didn't she? Alright. Let's see how we do here. I'm sure pretty well. Big beautiful fly, by the way. Doesn't even register as being real. Otherwise, she'd be exploding on stalactites right now. And that's not the case. So, Ed, can you fix your broken game? I think that'd be pretty interesting. But that's okay. Isaac might get an update at the end of the year, is what he was, uh, is what he was saying on Twitter. Oh, thank God. Well, sorry for everything. Goodbye.